here we go. So, <clears throat> so sorry, lobster, so sorry, wails Suki at the other end of the work table. She begins to sing a Japanese bedtime song to her lobster, <laughs> trying to soothe it as she attempts to ram the trussing needle up its backside before placing it into boil water. <laughs> Chef Bouveret advises on this cooking technique, saying that it'll keep its tail straight for presentation. But the lobster will not go silently into the pot. <laughs> the creature bites back, snapping at its tail and snapping its tail frantically. Suki jumps away, letting go just long enough for the lobster to escape. In seconds, it scurries off the marble counter and drops to the floor. One of the bands on its claws breaks in the fall, and it starts snapping frantically in self-defense. Eek! Suki cries. She grabs her tongs and gives chase, clacking at the crustacean. Go! Suki can't get a good grip with the tongs. She tosses her side towel over it and then s side towel, just like this. <laughs> then swoops down and picks it up with an oven mitt. So sorry, lobster. Tossing it into the boiling water, she bangs the lid on top. Bye bye, lobster. Bye bye. She bangs. <laughs> with a sigh, she turns to see all of us watching and is immediately embarrassed. <laughs> But in truth, we've all fallen in love with sweet Suki. Everyone in the room starts singing in high falsettos. This concludes the reading portion.